Aisha, are you ready? Okay. Let me just make sure that we have everything connected. Okay. But let me tell them what's happening here before we start. I'm shooting with my R5 and I'm connecting to my laptop so I'll see the images as they pop up. But as you'd know from this title, what we're doing is trying to simplify the shoot. All the time when I'm shooting, I'm using powerful strobes and people are always asking if they can achieve the same results with speed lights. So that is what this video is all about. We're also going to be using one light, which is this speed light. If I'll do any modifications to it, I think this is it. actually just bouncing into the white walls that we have here. So the roof, the walls, that's basically my modifier. The reason why I'm doing that is because I want this small light source to be very large. If I'm lighting up Aisha with the speed light directly, we're going to get very defined shadows and I don't want that. I, I want to like soften it a bit, but I'm also trying to keep this really, really low budget so that you don't even need to worry about modifiers, but still get great images. In the back here, I have a canvas backdrop green. She's wearing a green outfit. So we're doing green on green. And then we're complementing that, you know, green tone with her skin tone, um, the brown, and then also accessorizing here with some gold accessories so this is pretty much everything that is happening on set right now i'll take a few shots for us to see what this light alone is doing and then if i need to do anything probably like shape it in any other way i will let you guys know and then i'll also add a reflector just in case i want to you know bounce some of this light back and soften the shadow so let's start off with a few test shots and then see where we are at and then we can start shooting from there So first things first, I need to get a very good exposure on Aisha. So my shutter speed currently is 1 over 100 f2.2, ISO 1250. What I want to do right now is shoot at the shallowest that my lens will give me. And this is a 1.4 lens. So I'm going to tap on that and drag it all the way to 1.4. Now by doing that, you can see that we have a, like really, really blown out the image. If I turn on my histogram, you'll see again that it's shifted all the way to the right. So what I need to compensate now is going to be my shutter speed. So I need you know, to bring the exposure down a bit and I want to go max on my sync speed, which is one over 250, but I'll just do 200 and keep it at 200. Now you can see that we're beginning to see some details in the shot, but it's still overexposed. What I'll do now is just tap on the ISO and I'm gonna start dragging that down and you see that the exposure is going to keep going down. And I know that it looks underexposed, but I mean, it's fine because we're going to be adding our speed light, which is now going to light up our subject. So let me just take a quick test shot. Actually, so let's keep this pose for all the tests and then when we are done, you can start moving. Okay, so this is my first test shot. Looking at it, the histogram actually told me that it was going to be underexposed. It is fine. We have some ambient light going on from the LED, but it's not enough to really affect the shot. So this is at 1 over 64 on the flash. It's still underexposed. So I'm going to increase that and then take another test. Now we're beginning to get some really nice light on Aisha, but I still feel like we can, you know, add a bit more pop. And even though it's a speed light, it's still powerful enough. So I'm going to go up a bit more. So let's just say one over eight. I think this should be enough to give us like a really nice exposure on Aisha. Perfect. I really like the way everything is looking. She's really popping off the background, especially because of the aperture that I'm shooting at. But you can still achieve the same image if you're using a 1.8 lens. I happen to have a 1.4. That is why I'm using 1.4, right? So actually, yeah, let's just keep that. Perfect. Aisha is also a professional model, so already she knows. I mean, this is like our 100 and 34,005. <laughs> we can't count the number of times that we've been shooting. So at least she knows certain things that I prefer. And because she's a professional, she also knows that she has to turn her body at least in the direction of where the light is coming from. So if you're new, that is one great tip that you can use if you want to get really flattering light on your subject. So Aisha, I think at this point, all we have to do is start working together and capture some great images. I want you to bring your leg out like this, right? But I don't want you to do that too much because you crease the skin. It. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Just bring your eyes to the camera. Perfect. Nice. Yeah. 
one last shot. Now to spice up things even further, we've, you know, just changed a little things by adding. <laughs> we just changed things by adding props. So the first one is we've given here this little prop to hold. And we also have this little wooden frame in the back. We have a lamp on there. It's, it has a warm lamp in there, but the light itself is blue just to add a bit of color pop. And then we have a plant on the other side. And then I also added in a reflector so that if there's any spill from my flash, it's going to hit this and, you know, just create a softer light. I love creating soft lights in the studio. And so you'd always find me bouncing, you know, and then just trying to make the light sources even larger. And by making your light sources larger, um, you tend to have really soft light. So that is all that we've added right now. I'll take a few frames again for you guys to see. So you get, like, you get to understand that it's not just about the speed light that will help you create like beautiful images but rather the things that you consider in your frame and the way you work with them, you know, to create your images is what's going to make you stand out. So that's one thing that I think you should consider all the time. Let me start shooting and then we'll see how these images compare to what we captured initially. I'm gonna go down, maybe go up, you know, shoot landscape. Do something different. All those things will spice up your shoot. Okay, let me start with low, actually. Yeah, that's it, that's, that's it, perfect. Oh, I like that. Oh, stunning. Yeah, that's it, beautiful. That's nice. Yeah, that's it. Gorgeous. Okay, one more shot. Perfect. What I want to try now is just taking out the props and then just taking like a full body shot to see what, you know, we get as well. Yeah, I like it. I like the contrast we're getting. I love everything about it. Perfect. Nice. Perfect, just bring your eyes to the camera. Right there, good. One last shot. Chin up a little bit. Got it. I love these images. For today's video guys i hope you had fun i hope you enjoyed the images that we created just using a speed light if you loved what aisha did today leave a comment down below also just check out my digital store i have amazing products that are going to help you retouch and get consistent results every single time i also now have a consultation so if you guys want to ask questions have one-on-one -on -one sessions we have a link available for you guys so check it out and remember don't ever give up